Hello. This is still Theodore Reynolds from Mind Tree X. And you are almost there. There it is. The light at the end of the tunnel. I see it. I see it. Uh-oh. Time to practice our U-turns. You guys get moving. Move. Move. Sixteen. Bicycles. Bicycles are a legitimate form of transportation and are considered vehicles under state law. Per Colorado Revised Statute 42-4-1412, bicyclists have the same rights and duties as motorists. Because motorists and bicyclists share the road, both are responsible for following the rules of the road to ensure safety, and both can be ticketed for not obeying traffic laws though points are not assessed against the bicyclist's driver license. 16.1. Bicycling and Driving Rules Roads can be safe for all users if motorists and bicyclists understand and obey the following state laws. Bicyclists must ride in the same direction as traffic as far to the right as is judged safe by the bicyclist. On a multi-lane, one-way street, a bicyclist can ride to the right or the left side of the roadway. Bicyclists can ride side by side as long as they are not impeding the normal and reasonable movement of traffic. Moving to single file to allow easier passing is courteous practice. At night and low light situations, bicyclists are required to have a headlight, side reflectors, and a red rear reflector. No bicycle shall be used to carry more persons at one time than the number for which it is designed or equipped. Bicyclist shall not attach himself herself to any moving vehicle upon the roadway. Bicyclist shall keep at least one hand on the handlebars at all times. Motorists must give a bicyclist at least a three-foot buffer when overtaking or passing. Motorists can cross a center line when passing a bicyclist if the oncoming lane is clear and they won't interfere with any other traffic. Bicyclists are required to use hand signals to communicate turns unless the hand is needed in control or operation of the vehicle. For a right turn, Extend the right arm straight out to the right or left arm upward from the elbow. For a left turn, extend the left arm directly out to the left. If slowing or stopping, drop the left arm down at the elbow. Persons may park bicycles on a sidewalk unless prohibited or restricted by an official traffic control device or local ordinance. Bicycles are allowed on sidewalks and bike paths unless restricted by local ordinance. Bicyclists must give an audible signal before passing a pedestrian. 16.2 Avoiding Collisions Drivers of vehicles can help to prevent collisions with bicyclists by knowing the most common causes of motorist-bicyclist collisions and how to avoid them. Five common errors that can cause a motorist-bicyclist collision include 
cause of collision. Motorist turning left in front of an oncoming bicyclist. How to prevent. Look for oncoming bicyclists riding on the shoulder or edge of the lane before turning. Cause of collision. Motorist or bicyclist running a stop sign or stop signal. How to prevent. Stop first and then proceed into intersection yielding to others. Cause of collision. Motorist opening a vehicle door without looking behind for a passing bicyclist. How to prevent. Always check behind you before opening a door into the roadway. Cause of collision. Bicyclist riding the wrong way against traffic toward the motorist. How to prevent. Ride bicycles in the same direction as traffic. Cause of collision. Motorist pulling out from a driveway and failing to see bicyclist on road or sidewalk. How to prevent. Check both directions when crossing a sidewalk, bike path, or road. Though bicycles travel in the same direction as motor vehicles, they are generally moving more slowly and usually travel to the right of the right lane on the shoulder, or in a bike lane. Exceptions include making left turns when a right turn lane is present and the cyclist is traveling straight through, or when the right side of a lane has hazards or debris that the bicyclist must avoid. Motorists must be aware that bicyclists, like pedestrians, are more vulnerable users of the public roads and that they may change position in the road to avoid road hazards. Also, be aware that strong winds can unexpectedly move a bicyclist into a different position on the road. Inexperienced bicyclists or younger bicyclists may be less predictable. Signs of an inexperienced bicyclist include riding against traffic, riding on the sidewalk, or swerving. Take extra precautions when driving around or near bicyclists displaying these behaviors. 17. Organ Donation Donate Life Colorado Registry People who choose to become organ and tissue donors see it as a way to make a difference in the world. They say it feels good to know they can help others. Currently, in Colorado, there are over 1,900 people waiting for life-saving organ transplants. You can make a difference by saying yes and joining the Donate to Life Colorado Registry. When applying for or renewing a Colorado driver license, instruction permit, or ID card, you will be asked two important questions regarding organ and tissue donations. Would you like to be an organ and tissue donor? If you say yes, a red heart with a Y will appear on the front of your license, permit, or ID card. Your name will automatically be added to the Donate Life Colorado Registry. Being in the donor registry means you have elected to have all your organs and tissues made available for transplant at the time of your death. Joining the registry not only documents your decision to save lives by becoming an organ and tissue donor, 
it relieves your family of having to make the donation decision on your behalf. The registry is managed by Donor Alliance, a nonprofit, federally designated organ and tissue recovery agency, and is accessible only to authorized donation personnel. Consider these facts about donation. One donor can save the lives of up to eight people and enhance the lives of up to 100 others. People of all ages and medical histories can be donors, even those with diabetes or hepatitis C. All costs related to donation are paid by recovery agencies. All major religions support organ and tissue donations. An open casket remains an option. Organ and tissue recovery happens only after all life-saving efforts have been exhausted and death has been legally declared. It is possible to sign up or remove your name from the donor registry by visiting donatelife.org. Drive Time Log Sheet Your Instruction Permit If you are under 18, you must comply with the following requirements. You must be 16 years of age to be issued an instruction permit unless you have completed and passed the classroom portion of an approved driver education course. Then you may be issued an instruction permit at the age of 15 years. You must submit proof of completion along with your identification at the time you apply for the permit. Or, if you have completed a state-approved four-hour driver awareness course, then you may be issued a permit at 15 years, 6 months. You must submit proof of completion along with your identification at the time you apply for the permit. You are required to hold your first instruction permit for at least 12 months and be at least 16 years of age before you can get a driver license in Colorado. This means that if you get your permit on your 15th birthday, you will have to hold the permit until your 16th birthday before you can apply for the license. You are required by law to complete behind-the-wheel training before you can be issued your driver license if you are under the age of 16 years, 6 months, at the time you apply for your driver license. The BTW training can be administered two ways. You can take 6 hours with a driving instructor from a department-approved school, or if there isn't a driving school that offers BTW training at least 20 hours per week with an address within 30 miles of the permit holder's residence, you may complete 12 hours with a parent, guardian, or alternate permit supervisor. At the time you apply for your driver license, you are also required by law to submit a log of your driving experience. The log sheet must show a minimum total of 50 hours, with 10 hours of those 50 hours having been driven at night. The drive time log sheet is used any time you drive. The appropriate box is filled in by the parent or guardian driving with you or by the driver 
authorized by your parent or guardian to accompany you while you are driving. They will fill in the date, the total drive time, the amount of night driving, if any, and their initials. The comments section is optional for licensing purposes, but is useful for you to track your progress. The driver time log sheet is the only log sheet acceptable as proof of the required 50 hours of driving time unless the log sheet you are presenting is from a state-approved commercial driving school. Driver Education or third-party testing organization. The 50-hour total may include your six-hour BTW training, if your BTW training was with your driver education teacher. If you complete 12 hours of BTW training with your parent, guardian, or alternate permit supervisor, the 12 hours is in addition to the 50 hour requirement of the log sheet for a total of 62 hours. You may make photocopies of the log sheet if you need more than one to complete your 50 hours. When you have reached your required totals, your parent, step parent, guardian, or grandparent with power of attorney the same person that signed the DR-2460 Affidavit of Liability and Guardianship for you to get your permit, or your driver education instructor, must then verify total driving time and total night driving time on your log sheet. These totals are entered on the appropriate lines on the back of the last log sheet. The parent or guardian or driver education instructor will then sign and date only the back of the log sheet that has the final completed totals. Once you have held your instruction permit for at least 12 full months and you are at least 16 years of age, you are eligible to apply for your license. You will need to bring the completed original drive time log sheet with you when you come in. You must submit the completed drive time log sheet at the time you apply for your license. If your parent, guardian, or alternate permit supervisor administered the required behind-the-wheel training, they will complete the back of a DR-2460, the Affidavit of Completion of a Driver Education Classroom Course, or BTW. Reminder, drive tests at driver license offices are by appointment only. Your driver license. When you are issued your driver license, if you are under the age of 18, there are still a few things you need to be aware of. The law does not allow you to carry a passenger under the age of 21 until you have held your license for at least six months and you can't carry more than one passenger under 21 until you have held your license for at least one year. The exceptions to this are if your parent or guardian is with you, or there is an adult passenger 21 or older who has a valid license and has held that license for at least one year or the passenger under 21 needs emergency medical assistance or is a member of your immediate family. While you are under 18, you cannot drive between the hours of 12 midnight 
and 5 a.m. unless you have held your license for at least one year. The exceptions to this are if your parent or guardian is with you or there is an adult passenger 21 or older who has a valid license and has held that license for at least one year. Or it is an emergency or you are an emancipated minor with a valid license. You may drive between midnight and 5 a.m. if it's to a school or school authorized activity where the school doesn't provide transportation. You will need a signed statement from the school official showing the date of the activity. And you may drive between midnight and 5 a.m if it's to and from work. You must carry a signed statement from your employer verifying your employment. While you are under the age of 18, when you carry any allowed passengers, everyone riding with you must wear their seatbelt. Only one passenger can ride in the front seat with you. You can only carry as many passengers in the back seat as there are seat belts. Colorado law prohibits drivers under 18 years of age from using a cell or mobile phone while driving unless it is to contact the police or fire department or it is an emergency. Drivers 18 and older may not use a cell or mobile telephone for text messaging while driving unless it is to contact the police or fire department or it is an emergency. Your license expires 20 days after your 21st birthday. Have a safe journey and we will see you when you turn 21. Thanks for listening. As you finish up this audio content, consider how you might begin actively practicing your driving. On a neurobiological level, listening to this entire podcast series in one straight commute is not nearly as effective as listening to one episode each day. Small bite-sized pieces of content are more easily and completely digested by the mind and turned into memory. The same applies to getting in a vehicle to practice actually driving. Together with your co-pilot, find a productive driving loop, like driving to the local convenience store to pick up an ice cream cone, or to the local library to check out a movie, and then and the drive. A daily episode of driving will help you, slowly but steadily accumulating the awareness, the skills, and the confidence you will need not only to easily pass the driver test, but to actually become a safe and effective driver. Now, if you have listened this far, and gotten value out of this podcast, I ask you to give us a like, share the playlist link to someone else who needs to learn how to drive, or visit the How to Pass the Colorado Driver website, and make a purchase of one of our featured study products. By taking any one of these actions, you are helping to keep this podcast operating and free. Look, there's the green light. Now go and take action.